gonna do a super simple. Yeah, I'm gonna use up uh, leftover paints that I have. I'm gonna use all these greens and blues, a little bit of pink in there. No real plan, just have a canvas that I do not like. So I'm just gonna do a basic flip cup. Or pour cup at least. But yeah, these are all paints that are relatively old. So they kinda need to get used up so that I can make some more. So I figured I would do one. I did one the other day that I really liked. I'll show you that here in just a second. And super easy way. All this paint is mixed. Um, two parts Floetrol, American Floetrol, one part paint. No water, none of that. So it's a very, very easy recipe for all of it. Can't remember if this is the glow in the dark pink or just a regular pink. Um, but yeah, since it's kind of an old paint, there might be chunks, there might be some separation. Um, I don't really care at the moment. This is just kind of a tester piece anyway. So it's not something that's going to like go for sale or anything like that. It's just one that I thought might look kind of neat with all the different colors and such on there. This is technically a blue. It looks purple, but they call it blue, so it's getting used. Most of these paints, I can't remember when I mixed them up. So, like that one's too thick. It's kind of all evaporated and there's not really much left in it. I haven't done an actual like painting video in a while, so I figured I would do one up. I was gonna be painting anyway, so figured may as well. See, I'm very bad about labeling all of my stuff. This pink is chunky. I'll see about pulling some of the, the chunks out whenever it comes through. But that's, I mean, that's a good reason why it's saying that I needed to uh, clear out some of the paints they have. I made up a bunch of them and I didn't paint for about a month, so it kind of messed up a little bit on me. Alright. Now, usually I don't do a base layer, but just to help it slide a little bit more, use up some of this, which is two to one. Once again, flow trial to paint. Um, it's just, that's kind of the basic recipe for all of my stuff. And if I do cell activator, it's slightly different. I'm not really trying to cover any of it. I'm just trying to make it where the paint will slide a little bit smoother whenever I spin it. But yeah, this is a piece that I did not like and it's just kind of been sitting in the boneyard to get repainted. So, I figured I would use this today. Move all this stuff so it doesn't get paint all over it. See, this right here is the one that I did last. What's neat about it is it has a completely different look whenever it shimmers or whenever you turn it a little bit. So it makes it really neat. 
but I'm not sure here's all the paint we have in the cup. It may not be enough, I don't know. Um, we could always do more, but we'll have to see how it works with this. And I usually just start. Kind of move it around the, the canvas. It really lets all the other colors kind of play together, which is kind of fun. Mentioned chunks in it right there. Another one. The hardest on these canvases are the corners because clearly, with it being uh, rounded, the corners are a little bit more tricky to get all the paint out there. That's why I kind of hope that um, the little thin base layer would actually work. It's super simple. Alright, there is one chunk right here. I know that much. And there's paint. Get rid of that. And there's another one over here somewhere. There's probably more, but I don't know. We'll see. And so this is mainly just kind of a concept anyway. And there's just tilting some of the paint. Just to kind of make it go back towards the, the edges a little bit. I know for a fact that some of this paint is um, months old, probably six months or more. Some of it's a little newer than that, but yeah, it was time to get it out of here and make some more. Because as you saw, whenever it sits for a while, it starts getting kind of chunky and gross. So. Now we just do a spin, plain paint on everything that I forgot to move. And we'll see here in just a second how, like you can tell from the spin that at least one of the corners is still not okay. But see it's kind of hard so I try to go underneath and grab the spinner itself. Not too bad. Um, let me give it another little spin, just to try to get the rest of it out. Ugh. Always. A neat little purple in there, it's kind of fun, in the center. Most of these paints are all ones that need to be gone through and gotten rid of anyway. There were cell activators that I was testing a while back. Mainly just paint and water and different ratios of everything. So I need to sit down and actually start all this again. Mix it up a little bit more. Get better paint. Label everything a little bit better. Yeah. Not too bad. And the fun part about it is I like how the white actually came through a little bit. I was hoping that it didn't show, but I kind of like that it did now. I'm gonna clear out some of the paint from the, the dripping paint. Alright. And normally, during this, I just take my little, my little torch. Just give it a quick little once over. 
don't stay in the spot too long because if you do, it'll burn the paint and make it kind of crazy that way. Um, let's unpause you for a second and then move you closer. Alright, there's a more close up view of it all. Just a little bit of purple in the middle, purple and blue. I said they say it's blue, but it sure looks purple to me. It's this blue flash. So, with the lights on, it'll give a completely different little shimmer. I'll try to take a picture whenever it's dry, but I'll probably upload this video beforehand. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my other ones. If y'all are struggling with the bloom on my homepage, I've got a bloom painting that I show you how to do it with just a little bit of American flow troll and paint. And cell activator is just paint and water. So I show you step by step how to do it. So y'all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.